Hi, I'm Chad Gadoy, and today I'm going to teach you how to build a landing page or a squeeze page for yourself or for your client. So this is pretty useful for people who have a lot of audiences that they want to capture as leads and into a buying customer. So if you are a freelancer and if you are catering to clients who have a lot of audience but having problems um, creating sales, this might be the perfect option in order for you to build an email list. But before that, let's define what a landing page is. So guys, um, a landing page is where a visitor um, lands after they click um, a link in an email, targeted ads, or similar places on the web. Unlike websites, it encourages um, explorations. A landing page is focused solely on a single call to action or CTA and designed um, to convert visitors into leads or customers. Okay, now that we uh, already defined what a landing page is for, let's start building one. Okay guys, earlier we already designed um, the landing page that we're going to be creating. Okay, for example, in this case, we're about to give away this ebook uh, cover design book. Okay, for example, we are giving this as a giveaway in order for us to get their emails. Alright, so as you can see, we have this copy, like they want to design the most perfect ebook or and also we have a call to action, like for example, download now and DIY your ebook cover for your next lead magnet. And then we're going to be requiring them to put their email and their name. Um, and then they're going to hit uh, what you call um, clickable button. So this is what we're going to be creating or translating into a lead magnet. All right. So in this case, we're going to be using kit.com as our landing page builder. Um, this is an email marketing software that allows you to build your email list also. And they have the option for you to build your email list using their uh, landing page designer so uh, if you have other like email marketing software or a landing page builder that you're going to be using um, use that all right i'm not like trying to say like you should like use only kit.com in order for you to build your own landing page that's not what i'm trying uh, to say here because um, maybe you prefer other landing page builder um, if that is fine too for me Okay, but in this case, because I use kit.com, this is what we're going to be using, all right? So in this um, kit.com, um, in order for you to build a landing page, you just need to click the grow button and then select landing page and forms, all right? And then this option or this view will going to be showing up to you, all right? Um, there are a lot of landing page designs here that you can choose from whether you are uh, video focus or you want to give away an ebook um, that is up to you right because here um, you can filter by category uh, for example like events links newsletter podcast product profile video waitlist webinar or ebook but in our case we're going to choose ebook why because um, we're going to be giving away an ebook okay <laughs> simple as that so we're going to be giving away this book, for example. Okay, this is just like for example purposes. Okay, we're not going to be using this as a copyright for this ebook, all right? But I just uh, use this because I'm just um, going to be creating this uh, video tutorial, all right? So what we're going to do is we're going to be choosing, for example, this one, um, Parnell. So we're going to click Choose. And this is pretty much easier to do, all right? So you don't need to panic if you're not like technical savvy or you're not into technical things. You don't worry about it because this video is good enough for you to understand how you're going to be creating your own landing page. Or if you're a freelancer and you're like building your profile, building your skills, you don't need to worry about more of the technical stuff because this is really easy for you to do. Okay, so here as you can see i choose a landing page design and um, if you're going to analyze this uh, on the left side this is your landing page all right this is we're going to be the look of your landing page after you finish all right so here you can put your copy and then there's an 
and there's an image here for your book for example like <coughs> in our case we're going to put our uh, the book design like the ebook cover design on on this book right here so we're going to re replace this image and then we're going to put this copy here on this copy on the left side so right now we have like for, for example we already have the first name and the email address like the name and the email address so we're just going to leave this as that and then we also have already the download now button so we don't need to worry about it oh it's all plug and play what we're trying to do uh, at this moment is we're going to replace this image for example so as you can see when i click this image on the right side you have the option whether to um, replace delete this um, image or just replace the image so in our case we're going just going to hit replace and then we're going to choose an image to upload and then we're going to choose the image so it um, it will just load up for for a while just wait and then that's it so as you can see we already have the image on the landing page so what we're going to do next is that we're going to delete some of this stuff that we don't need for example that one and we're going to replace it with our cover or i mean copy we're going to copy paste this here As you can see, you can like bold it or whatever you want. And then copy paste the subtitle here. So that's how easy it is. It's just like copy and pasting, right? So if you're going to look below, you can also put like, for example, if you have testimonials, okay? For example, you have a... Uh, additional testimonials that you want to put in here um, or what this uh, is all about you can like put here or if you if you don't have those kind of stuff you can like delete this or just for example just delete them okay, for example for for this we don't have any uh, testimonial so just delete them so that they will not appear okay they're not going to be appearing on the landing page so we we'll just hit save first and then do a preview I don't know why is this still here Uh, okay, still here. So, for example, you want to remove this. I don't know if we can remove this um, part. But I guess it's all fine. <laughs> because this, this is just for example, we can choose another like landing page builder if we don't like, for example, if you don't have a testimonial um, there's also a landing page design that doesn't contain a testimonial but you know just for for this example because we don't have a testimonial we just did um, what we do is we just remove um, th that part but as you can see when we try to preview it um, it's it, it still appear that we have this box okay but we cannot remove this because this is pre-designed okay so we just leave it we just leave this as that but for the purpose that if you don't have a testimonial you can actually ch choose another landing page design for example we don't have a testimonial you can just like choose another landing page design that doesn't contain a testimonial but still will offer the ebook um that you want like for example you can like choose this one 
okay or just or this one or choose this one because this one it has like a testimonial that the one that we choose so just let's just leave it at that but for example if you don't have any testimonial and, and you just want to give away ebook you can choose other designs okay that's just my point so we can hit save and what after have after like we conclude that we already done because um right now we are already done okay what what we what we have to do next is that we have we need to click the settings okay you need to click the settings and then choose the incentive okay choose the incentive because this is a two option like to opt in for example like they need to check their email address because what we're going to happen is when they when we share this um, URL to them or this page right here what will what will happen is that they're going to put their first name and email address but they're not going to be receiving anything not unless they they check their email all right so when they check their email there will be an email that we're going to be sending after they put the they, they click the download button and this is the email that they're going to be receiving okay so this is the email um this is how the email will looks like so they will be asked to confirm their subscription in order for them to receive the book that we're giving away but where you go um um but you have to decide whether the, where that ebook um will land okay so where they're going to be getting it they're go they they can get it from a different url that you will be setting like after confirming redirect to a different url or after they click like they click this confirm your subscription button they can instantly download the book okay you have the option to set that here okay it's it's your choice okay if you have a for example at a separate thank you page that's what they call it a thank you page when they hit the subscription button they will be like redirect into a thank you page from which you can set it here or you can just like instantly tell them that they can already download the file okay so you can upload the file here for example in this case just choose another one and then hit save so yeah the file will be here already all right as you can see we already um upload the file here so whenever they click the con confirm your subscription button they will be ha they will have an access to download the file already so when you hit save that's it okay so that's how you upload the file that you are trying to give away so you it it is a requirement for you to set this up because they will not going to be receiving what you what uh what you're trying to give away if you don't like upload it here so that's the point because the, the point of the um the, the point of the lead or the landing page is to have an exchange right so when they put their email they should be receiving something so that's the reason why we have to you know set these settings so after the after after we set the settings we we just need to uh, save it and then hit publish okay when you hit publish you will be giving um they will be giving you a url for example this and then you can paste it here to try so this is your landing page see how it is see how how it how easy it is to create your own landing page so you don't need to worry about you know the technical stuff the uh the building websites or whatever because this actually uh, can give you a landing page that uh, mobile friendly and i think it looks good it looks good to me i don't know if, for you guys if it looks good to you because <laughs> it's just simple like there's a copy and there's a, a subtitle in the book uh, on the right side and then there's a download button it's pretty easy and simple like they don't have any options you know to check other links they just need to put their name and email and, and hit the download button and yeah and that's how easy it is to create a landing page so if you like this video all right 
there will be another video that I will be creating in order for you to do uh, do the automation. You know, the for example, the landing page into uh, into the email sequence. All those kind of stuff will going to be created or tell or told in the next video. So if um, if you're ready for that, if you want to learn more about the automation or how you're going to automate all your content emails in order for you to sell your upcoming products or whatever service you're selling, you can like check the video, the next video after this training and you're good to go. And please guys, don't forget to subscribe into this channel and please hit or if you have any questions, put it on the comments. Okay, put it on the comment section and you can like um, ask me anything so that whether if you want to want to create a video about anything, we are going to be creating a video if, you know, if it's really a requirement for us, you know, for you to understand uh, this uh, technical stuff that we'll be creating. Okay, guys, please don't forget to like this video and I see you in my next uh, training video on the next coming days. And happy, happy Merry Christmas to everyone who's watching my channel. Thank you guys. Have fun.